You're watching DVTV, North Texas's leading source for online LGBT video. Hello there, DVT viewers. Tori Widener here once again. Now, tonight I have a question to ask you. What do you think of when you hear gay men getting sweaty playing with balls? Exactly. The Dallas Diablos rugby team. This month they're going to Dublin to play in the Bingham Cup. And I'm here on Oakmont Avenue at Woody's Bar where they're throwing a little party. Now let's go see if we can talk to a few of them. with the club since 2002 when we started. I played in the very first match. Uh, I had a little hiatus. I moved away for three years, but I'm back and uh, thrilled to be here going to Dublin with the rest of the team. It's named after um, Mark Bingham, the uh, gay hero, the rugby player that was on Flight 93 that helped uh, stop the terrorists on 9-11. Now, is this strictly a gay team? Or, I mean, is it mixed? Is it... Uh, we are predominantly gay. We have a lesbian coach. We have mostly gay men, but we do have a couple of straight guys that play with us. Okay. that play rugby for us, and uh, they have a great time as well. Have you ever played? Yeah, I've played all four years. Um, I'm going to Bingham Cup. This will be my third time going um, to play in the Bingham Cup. That's awesome. I heard about that. Um, how much work would you say has gone into getting there? I mean, it seems like it'd be really, really a lot of work. There's an amazing amount of work. We practice two to three times a week for about nine months. Wow. Um, so all of that time, um, and that's just the players. The club does a lot of work in fundraising and uh, awareness and getting the money to send everyone. Club members, people who are going have to pay a lot of their own way, but the club tries to pick up as much as possible. So would you say that um, joining one of these teams out here is a good way of making friends, meeting people? I think joining any athletic team is a good way to meet people and make some friends. Rugby in particular, we call rugby the world's largest fraternity. Uh, because when you do something as time intensive and as sometimes painful as rugby can be, you really develop very close bonds with people. Um, being the only females on the team, do you feel like there's any expectations to live up to? Do you feel any sort of pressure at all? If you don't hit hard enough, <laughs> there's always that, oh, she's a girl thing. But if you hit them hard, they're like, wow, I just got hit by a girl. <laughs> so you're going to surprise them one way or another. I'm one of those, um, pass me the ball and I just run with it, I think. I think that's my, my position. A back. <laughs> yes, I'm a back. There you go. That was my first uh, rugby team. I played uh, soccer for LSU, and then I played on the uh, WNFL for the Biloxi Hurricanes. Oh, wow. So. You got me beat. <laughs> What's the difference between rugby and football? Football has a lot more padding. You're okay. allowed to throw the ball forward, and every time somebody goes down with the ball, they stop the game, and everybody stands up and resets and huddles and thinks about it and gets back together and starts again. <laughs> and in rugby, the play is continuous. When somebody gets tackled, it's up to their teammates to dig the ball out of the tackle, pass it to somebody who's ready to receive it and run the ball down the field, and there is no stopping. It's very fluid. Open field ball is open field ball, and anybody can do anything with it. So it, it's a lot more like soccer in that sense. Awesome. Well, it sounds like y'all are having a lot of fun. Um, thanks for talking with us. And Teach those boys a lesson. Teach them. <laughs> Ooh, that was a lot of testosterone bubbling in there. Their spirits are high, they're very excited, and they should be. You know what? Everyone at DVTV and DallasVoice.com wish you all the luck in the world, and we want you to bring us home that goal! So, if you have any local news that you want us to cover, just email us at DVTV at DallasVoice.com from your local scene to your computer screen. I'm Tori Widener. Thank you for watching.